Hi guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Rode Wireless Go microphones. This is a number two. It brings a transmitter, two microphones, um, the manual obviously, and the little cable to plug it into the camera. Uh, it brings three dead cats as well, two to put on the microphones and one as a backup in case you lose it. So I wanted to talk, um, I actually never use them. I'm going to use them today for the first time. Right now I'm using the Goya Lavalier, um, which is really long. And I want to test these out and let you guys know what I think about them. Maybe you can hear them. Let me know which one sounds better. Um, I've been looking for an option for uh, wedding videos and also YouTube videos that I can use um, wirelessly, obviously. And that sounds better than my current setup. So my thought for this is I can put one on the bride and I can put one on the groom. And maybe the sound will be better. I'm actually going to turn the fan off. Just one second. I hope that wasn't making too much sound, but I got this from Adorama. It retailed for $299. They also have another version that costs $199 that only brings one transmitter and one microphone. At first, I thought I wanted to go for that one, but since I see myself doing wedding videography long term, I just thought it would be better to just have the other microphone there if I need it. And some of my friends that do have it say that um, just one microphone might not pick up the sound of the other person if it's like in his pocket. Um, especially the like person like actually doing the whole wedding and getting them married. I do have a backup from the sound and it's the Zoom H1N. So I do leave that like close to the aisle or close to the, um, the podium if I can. And I also plug it into the DJs. Um, if they, they do have a DJ, then I plug it into his setup. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. The, I really like the little pouch that it brings because it kind of fits everywhere if you can see it's not too big but it's kind of thin so you can like slide this in into any pocket of your camera bag or just have it on like the side so I do like that I also like the fact that they are protected I didn't even expect them to bring a case so I'm going to bring it out the first one is the transmitter it has a cable that you plug it onto the camera and it also has a screen where you can see all the settings um, that you're changing on the actual screen you're going to see which one of your mics is on if both of them are on as well um, you can see the volume of their ad or if they're muted so that's actually really nice on the bottom it has two buttons one says db and that button set uh, you can set it all the way down to minus 24 db minus 12 db or zero we have this button on the top of all the three um, microphones and if you press and hold it it will turn them on on the microphones themselves, two blue lights are gonna come on on the top left, um, but on this one, it just comes on like that. So, so if you press on the DB button, you're gonna see the volume going up and down on those three options. I'm gonna leave it on the lowest, and then the other button next to it says one half, I'm not sure how to say that, but basically you can select onto one of the microphones, and once you have it selected, you can press on the top button and you can mute it from your camera. So if you see someone that you don't want them to speak or you don't want their sound to come on at a certain time, so that's really nice. And then I also have the option if I press the top ones without having any of the microphones selected, I can bring the screen brightness up or down. Um, this one has a clip. It does not have a hot shoe, uh, but it connects really nicely onto the hot shoe of any camera if you just kind of like clip it there. Um, and these are charged, the three of them are charged by USB-C cable that they actually bring. They do not bring a connection to the wall, so you are going to have to uh, find that yourself, but they did bring the USB. So maybe you can charge them onto your laptop or you, if you have like a big USB charger that goes into the wall, then there you go. Okay, so let's move on onto the actual microphones so you can hear how they sound. So as I mentioned before, they have the, these are completely the same. I don't, I haven't seen anything that says like one or two yet. Um, maybe I will mark them myself just because I want to know like if one of them has an issue, I know which one it is and I can like leave it aside. So on the bottom, it has the ident the zero button right here. So if you press and hold that, you're going to see that on the left corner, the blue lights are going to come on. Okay, so here on the corner, you're going to see if the microphone is on. And on the second one, you're going to see the battery live. Uh, I'm not sure if they change colors once the battery is dying. And then on the other side, you have a aux plug for a lavalier if you want to plug one in, which is really nice. So it also has a clip on the back, so you can just clip it anywhere like right here or even lower, depending on where the person has it and how they speak. I would probably test that out first. Then I would change the volume on the actual microphone. I will definitely change the volume on my camera all the way low as a manual um, setting on like on the volume just because I want the microphone to pick up all the sound and I don't want it to sound muffled and I feel like that's what happens when sometimes you have the, the sound on your camera really high and you have your microphone sound really high as well so it kind of like 
becomes too much. So I'm gonna put this on, you're gonna see like how easy it is. You kind of just like put the circles, align the circles together and then you twist. And you can feel exactly when it, when it clips and it's there for good. All right, so I'm gonna switch that now. I'm gonna bring the volume down from my camera and hopefully we can see how they work. I'm gonna clip this right here and I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I am gonna test it out. I have my windows down right now, so I don't have like any outside sound. I feel like at a wedding you may have like a fan. If it's a wedding outside during the summer, trust me, you're gonna encounter a lot of fans. Um, so I do wanna see like if any of that picks it up. So maybe I'll turn my fan in my living room back on. I also wanna like walk away as far from the uh, microphone I mean, from the camera as I can to see like how much reach it has, especially if I'm like behind a door or something like that. So I'm turning the fan on right now. I'm also walking away. Um, and I just wanna hear like how it sounds. I'm all the way in my kitchen now. And if you guys can hear me, then that would be amazing. So let me know how it sounds. I'm coming back around and now the fan's still on. As far as it being comfortable, I feel like it's just a little bit more bulky than I want to, but I can definitely hide this on someone's suit or um, a dress and I can maybe buy the tapes uh, for, you know, to tape it to like against their body uh, if I need to, but they just sound really nice. And then the other thing that I can do is I can actually mute myself on the bottom. So if you, if I have my microphone on and I want to mute myself, all I have to do is press and then the person on the camera, if they're paying attention, they can see that I turned myself, like I muted myself. So that's really cool. So if somebody like mutes themselves by mistake, because it's really easy to just press that button. If I'm paying attention, I can just unmute them from the camera. So that's cool. Let me know uh, how that sounds. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna set, uh, turn on the second one now because I wanna see how they both sound. So if they're both right here, I wanna see if they have like any interference or if they just sound louder because I'm talking to both of them, I'm gonna get it really close and I'm gonna put it really far, well not really far, but right here um, and see how they sound. So now I'm talking on this mic, which I don't know which number it is. And now I'm talking on this mic, which I don't know which number it is, but we'll see. So. I also want to plug in a lavalier that I was using and the only issue that I have with this Goya lavalier which I really like is the cable like you don't know how many times I'm like terrified that someone would step on this and make my camera fall from whatever like wherever it is and like this is so unnecessary like why look at this okay um it's a great mic though but the other thing is that the mic jack kind of gets in the way of the little dead cat so i would recommend taking the dead cat off before you put it on because you're gonna like clip it onto that so i'm gonna take the dead cat off clip the lavalier and then put the dead cat back on All right, hopefully that works because I can't hear it clip. So it's a little tight in there when you're putting both of them. But now I'm on the lavalier from the Rode Wireless and I want to hear how it sounds. Like I want to hear what, what you're hearing. So I turn off the second one that I was using and I'm just talking on this one. I don't know why I keep holding it close to me because I don't need to, but I have it right here and I feel like it sounds fine. I mean, I don't know, you tell me. I actually can't wait to like hear it because I'm really excited about my sound just getting a little bit better and also being able to just walk around, do my YouTube videos when I'm doing like commercials and that's gonna be super exciting for me. Maybe I'll try it outside next and see if it picks up any like uh, wind. Let me turn the fan off and hopefully I didn't ruin my whole video by doing that. And I can keep talking, which is, wow, so exciting, very exciting. I feel like in some ways I do feel more comfortable with this and having like a boom mic on top of my camera, uh, like the Rode Mic Go, I think it's called. Um, I think I have one of them. I don't have the Pro, but I have the old one. And I just feel like sometimes like that one is not great. I know that, but sometimes it doesn't pick up like as much sound and it might even pick up sound behind the camera, um, even, if, even if you're pointing like towards the person. So I, I just feel much better with this setup. So we'll see how it sounds. Uh, hopefully it sounds better and maybe I can change some of the settings as I go. Hopefully I didn't ruin the whole sound of this video. I haven't been fan on, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are thinking about purchasing this, um, ask me questions below. I will try to figure it out myself. And if you have any tips for me, I, those are welcome as well. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support on this channel. I would really appreciate it even more if you subscribe below and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.